the joy this festival brings is something special. Its magic lies in the camaraderie of strangers. Kanesha, miracle, Kanesha, good luck, Kanesha, everything. Color, music, dance. Drown out all the differences. Tired feet cheered by hoarse voices and smiles stuck on faces. These children have really been let loose. The joy this festival brings is something special. It's where a million hearts beat together. As if they are your own. This is Ganesh Utsav, Mumbai's mega festival. <laughs> It's a chant that will be heard throughout the 11-day festival. Bappa, meaning father, is a name lovingly used for Ganesha. Moria comes from the saint. While the most famous Ganpati Pandal in the country stands on steel and bamboo pillars, its heritage rests on shoulders of people like the Kambli family, who have been sculpting the famous Lal Bagcha Raja idol for three generations. Today, under the 77-year-old patriarch Ratnakar Kambli's watchful eye, the entire Kambli family contributes to creating the idol. Twelve skilled artisans, over 300 man-hours, and dedication that is born out of unconditional love and devotion. These craftsmen start work on the idol two months ahead of the festival. While some pandals come up with creative avatars to represent Ganesha, the Lal Bag Charaja idol has retained its distinct form. The head of an elephant and the body of a human, making the god accessible to his devotees. While the work to finish the idol is in full throttle, at the beach, a specially designed, electrically operated raft is being assembled. Like all idols, this one too will be immersed in a water body. Except, this raft can carry the giant idol deep into the sea and lower it gently for immersion. Bapa ka jo main, jisme jaan hai, wo bapa ke eyes hai. Jo koi bhi aata hai, jabi raja ke aak mein aag dalke, jabi dono ki nazar milti hai, tabi maximum log jo ham logon ne dekhe, jo experience hai, rote hi hai. The difference between a sculpture and a god is the process of deification or the pran pratishta. So you infuse life by inviting the divine to reside in that. Till the pran pratishta is done and till the eyes are made, it is not a god. A special artist, a person who does it, makes the eyes. Once the eyes are there, then it is alive. Jo my aag banata hai na. वो आग वो तुम सामने रहो आपके पास दिखेगा सब साइड में रहो राइट जाओ और लेफ्ट जाओ किधर भी जाओ वो आपको देखेगा मुझे 2007 में जो हार्ट कैटर कार गया है उस टाइम में मैं जब भी हॉस्पिटल में एडमिट था तभी उसके पास इतने ये बोला कि भाई गन्ने राया कि मेरा जो आपका जो अगले साल में 75 इयर्स जो मेरे इच्छा मांगे थी वो मेरी इच्छा पूरी हो गई और तब तक उसके आगे भी अभी मैंने वो काम चालू ही रखा है बंद किया नहीं जब तक मैं जिंदा हूँ तब तक तो मैं वही उसका हक करते रहेगा। The number of devotees seeking his blessings has increased to such a large number they actually began corroding the idol's feet. To keep the feet secure, the organizers gave their god covers for his feet. You can call them his shoes, but these are no ordinary shoes. Plated in gold, measuring over two feet long and weighing over 40 kilos, these shoes befit the grandeur the Lal Bakcha Raja represents. 
Nana Vedak has been in the jewelry business for over 35 years and was only happy to show his devotion by creating these special foot covers for the idol. Lalbakka Raja ka jo paav hai, do foot lamba hi hai, ek foot chowda hi hai. Lagbag 40 kilo chandi laga hai, aur uske upar lagbag ek kilo sone ka work kiya hai. And that's just the beginning. The idol's jewelry with his special shoes is worth approximately 75 million Indian rupees. With millions of devotees comes in millions in donations. And these donations are collected by volunteers who take it to a heavily guarded room. It's a special room monitored by cameras and equipped with weighing scales and cash counting machines. The money is counted and the jewelry evaluated. The treasurer sits with bankers and the jeweler, Nana Vedak's team. हर दिन जब ही लालबाग का राजा की दान पेटी स्टेज से निकाल के हम लोग लाते हैं उसमें सोने के कॉइंस तो अगणित रहते हैं दस ग्राम पांच ग्राम दो ग्राम सोने के बिस्किट निकलते हैं डायमंड ज्वेलरी निकलती है नेकलेस निकलते हैं चेन अंगूठी तो इतने निकलते हैं कि पूछो मत छः से आठ किलो सोना और लगभग सौ एक डेढ़ किलो चांदी इतना हर साल उंडी में से निकलते हैं इस साल जो लालबाग का राजा का सोने का मूर्ति आया था जैसा राजा है वैसा ही मूर्ति बनाया था लगभग 1300 ग्राम सोना उसमें वजन में आया उसका ऑक्शन में वो लगभग 36 लाख रुपए में बिक्री हुई वो वैल्यूएशन लास्ट ईयर द टोटल कलेक्शन एट लालबाग चा राजा हैड क्रॉस्ड 140 मिलियन इंडियन रुपीस the highest so far. After all, much like the celebrities visiting this pandal, Lal Bhakcha Raja too has acquired superstardom among all the Ganesh pandals in the country.